let's go back to the 1800s, shall we? In 1863, William Kearney joined the ranks of the Union Army in the middle of the Civil War. He had been born into slavery just 23 years earlier. He had been a free man for a short time before deciding to fight for the country that had held him in captivity for his entire life, thus far. This was an opportunity to help create a new type of existence for his African American brothers and sisters. In July, he and his regiment led the charge on Fort Wagner. During the charge up the hill, Carney witnessed the color guard getting shot right in front of him. So he dove to save the flag as it fell toward the ground. He yanked it from the dying man's hands and held it high. He continued to charge as rounds ripped through his shoulders and legs. He never stopped moving up the hill, despite losing so much blood from his wounds. He planted the flag firmly in the sand at the base of the fort, urging his unit to continue to follow him. Even as his almost lifeless body was being rescued, he gripped tight to the flagpole, refusing to give it up. Sergeant Kearney barely escaped the battle alive, but was quoted as saying, Boys, the old flag never touched the ground. Sergeant William H. Kearney was awarded the Medal of Honor in May of 1900 and became the first ever African American to receive it. And there you have it, kids. An excellent example in pride and self, in military, and in country. Have a good night, kids.